Solaria is a fictional human inhabited planet in Isaac Asimov's Foundation and Robot series. The novel The Naked Sun is set on Solaria and major events of Robots and Empire and Foundation and Earth take place on Solaria. Topic: <laughs> Robot series. Solaria was the last of 50 spacer worlds colonized by humans in the first wave of interstellar settlement, occupied from approximately 4627 AD by inhabitants of the neighboring world Nexon originally for summer homes. It was ruled by a regent after it became independent around roughly 4727 AD. The Solarians specialized in the construction of robots, which they exported to the other spacer worlds. Solarian robots were noted for their variety and excellence. They also exported their grain, which was used to make a pastry known as the pachinka. <laughs> Population Solaria became totally dependent on robot labor, roughly 10,000 robots existed for every human. The world was extremely sparsely inhabited, with only 20,000 humans and 200 million robots inhabiting 30 million miles squared 78 million square kilometers of fertile land, divided into over 10,000 huge estates the exact number is unknown, since some of the estates were inhabited by couples. The population was kept stable through strict birth and immigration controls. In the era of robots and empire, no more than 5,000 Solarians were known to remain. 20,000 years later, the population was 1,200 one human per estate. <inaudible> Isolationists In The Naked Sun, Earth detective Elijah Bailey visited Solaria around 4927 AD to solve a murder mystery. By then, its inhabitants had evolved an isolationist culture in which its citizens never had to meet, except for sexual contact required for reproductive purposes. All other contact was accomplished by sophisticated telepresence systems. Viewing with most Solarians exhibiting a strong phobia towards actual contact, or even being in the same room as another human. Seeing. All work was done by robots. Bailey considered Solaria to be a dysfunctional society. <laughs> <laughs> Foundation series Over the following centuries and millennia, Solaria became even more rigidly and obsessively isolationist, and its population was believed by other spaces to be declining. Around 5126 AD, Solaria cut off all contact with the rest of the galaxy, although continuing to monitor hyperspatial communications. The human inhabitants vanished, giving the impression that they had died out. Although they had in fact withdrawn underground, their estates continued to be worked by millions of robots. The planet was eventually forgotten entirely as the other spaces died out, any stray visitors to the planet being attacked and killed by robots programmed to view non Solarians as non human. During a brief visit, D.G. Bailey, R. Daniel Olivar, and Gladia Delmar barely escaped with their lives. Topic: Self-dependency for Solarians. During the period from 5000 AD to 20000 AD, the Solarians had extensively modified themselves through genetic engineering to become hermaphrodites, thereby removing the need for sexual contact. In another development, Solarians evolved or engineered small transducer lobes, a section of the brain about the size of a hen's egg, protruding behind the ears. These were able to collect free energy from spontaneous heat flow in their surroundings, on the principle of a heat engine, and direct this extracted energy into focused useful work, at a distance, by thought. 
Using these lobes, Salarians manipulated their environment with powers akin to telekinesis and provided for the energy needs of their entire estates, including power for all of the estate's robots, drawing energy from the various spontaneous thermal energy transfers of the planet in apparently complete compliance with the known laws of thermodynamics. Salarian estates commonly featured conductive rods, spaced at convenient distances, penetrating deeply into the planet that, at a touch, made the channeling of geothermal energy between the planet's interior and the heat sink of space even easier. The arrival of outsiders In 499 FE Approximately 25,066 AD, as told in the novel Foundation and Earth, Solaria was visited by Golan Trevise, Yanov Palorat and Blissano Biarella. They landed on the estate of Sartan Banda, the ruler of a Solarian estate note that Sartan was the last name of R. Daniel Olivor's designer, R. O. J. Nemina Sartan of Aurora. They learned of the sociological developments of Solaria through Banda, who apparently took a secret pleasure in having something close to intellectual companionship, or at least an intellectual audience. To prevent them from providing information to the galaxy about Solaria and in keeping with Solarian customs and beliefs, not to mention preventing other Solarians' discovery of shameful personal contact with offworlders, Banda attempted to kill the visitors, but was instead killed in self-defense by Bliss, resulting in the shutdown of all of the robots and other machinery of the Banda estate. The visitors were able to escape, but not before discovering a child in one of the countless rooms of the estate, Phalum, assuming it to be a successor to Banda who had not mentioned the existence of an heir, but had mentioned that there would be one at the appropriate time or in the case of an unforeseen accident, whom they would ultimately bring with them to Earth. Had they left Phalum on Solaria, the child would almost certainly have been killed, because it was seen as a surplus child and also had not as yet developed its transducer lobes, therefore not counting as a Solarian and being expendable. Phalum demonstrated great precocity in learning galactic and would eventually stay on the moon of Earth to mentally merge with Daniel Olivar. Possible futures of Solaria The ultimate fate of the Solarians is unknown, although Sartan Banda seemed to believe that Solaria had a bright future since, without internal conflict, they are likely to outlive the rest of the human race and then inherit the galaxy. Bliss, on the other hand, believed that the Solarians will become a part of Galaxia, and a valuable part at that. Topic Statistics Star Planets three Planet Position Solaria three Diameter fifteen thousand kilometres nine thousand three hundred miles one point two four that of Earth Known locations Helionia on the northern continent <laughs>